Hi friends, today we're gonna to be doing our ocean silhouette art project. So um, adults, there are a few steps you need to do in advance to prepare this for your child to do. The first thing we're gonna do is put this clear contact paper, attach it to this frame here. And this is the trickiest part. I'm gonna put these other things aside for now. And then this stuff is a little tricky to deal with because it tends to just want to roll up. But you want to separate just the corner edge here. And you can see it's sticky on one side. And then this just peels off the back. So when you're peeling it, go nice and slow. And then just hold up this corner. Once it's unrolled, it won't, um, or once you have this backing on, it won't, it won't roll up as much. So go nice and slow, peel it off, and then just kind of hold it up as you go so it doesn't get stuck to anything or itself. And then I've got this clear sticky sheet here. If you go too fast, it can sometimes make a little crease in there, which is not going to come out. So I'm going to be real careful and then I'm going to lay this down on a flat surface. Try not to stick it to my fingers too much. So this sheet is a little bit larger than the frame that you have. So you want to just try and line up the frame with the bottom and the sides. And then I, what I've found to work the best is stick it to the bottom and then just kind of let it drop and then you'll have this extra part on back so if you're not planning to do this project immediately then you can actually use this backing here and stick it back on and that way when you are ready all you'll need to do is just peel it right off and it'll be ready to go and then you can also cut off this edge part this extra part you won't need that the next prep step is to be cutting out your sea creatures and if your child wants they can just draw their own fish on here with a white marker or a pencil and then you can cut it out for them or an octopus or whatever kind of sea creature they can make their own um, or if they want you can use some of these templates here and then you can use those to put on top of your paper and then cut them out so you could have your child pick between maybe two and five of these sea creatures here. Unless of course they're making their own, then don't worry about this part. They can just draw them with pencil and cut them out. But I'm gonna line this up on top here. And then, I guess I don't need that part. And then I'm going to use this and then just cut around the turtle shape while holding on to the black paper. And then I will end up with a black silhouette of a turtle. I decided to do the sea turtle here and a shark, but you could do more if you wanted or make your own fish. So we have these two silhouettes here and a silhouette is just an outline of an animal um, and often you'll see a silhouette when you have light shining behind something and uh, you can't see any of the details so it just looks black or dark so i'm gonna put these aside now we get to the fun part so we're gonna get our little things ready here and you might want to pour these into a bowl or you could put them on a plate for really young kids um, you can help them separate these and you might even give them to them one at a time for older kids um, the activity of even just separating them is a good five motor activity so I'm going to spread them out a little bit and then we're going to peel this part off our first step will be to add our animals and your child can put them wherever they want on this sticky sheet here. I think I'll put my shark here and maybe my turtle up there. So they'll put down all the animals that they have 
and then we are going to add the water and we can even cover up our animals that's okay so we can just put them on here if they overlap that's totally fine even in, if you end up with a couple um, in a stack that's no big deal you can try to spread them out or if you want to they're already kind of stuck you can just leave them like that every child's gonna have a different length of attention span for these kinds of projects so um, if your child just wants to do a couple pieces that's okay you can maybe put it aside and they can do a couple pieces each day or you can help them they can work together but we're gonna try our best to fill up this whole page stuck on here I am just about done just like with all of our projects you want to keep this really fun so maybe you can put on some fun music in the background while they're putting on their pieces and then when they have all of the sticky parts pretty much covered up this is the fun part we're gonna flip it over and we've got this ocean silhouette here and you can put this up in the window and it'll look really neat so that is it. These are our ocean silhouette animals. I hope you have fun, friends. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you next time.